Okay, here's my latest project. It's called the Speedy. It's a small 13 inch design and you can get the plans uh, free online from the planpage.com. It comes from a 1938 Air Trails. So here you can see I finished the wing. I, I'll show you a few changes I made. Uh, as you can see here, the wing doesn't have a top spar, but I think that strengthens it a lot. I'm not sure you can see it, but I did put in a 120th square top spar. The other thing is I changed the wing tips and the tail tips. Um, basically what I did is I put a piece of balsa going in this way and a piece that way. It's just much stronger. And that's how I made the tips. So you can see I have the wing done here. I also have the stab and the rudder are done. Um, I used airspan on this and I thought that worked really great. Uh, for larger models the airspan doesn't shrink that much so it doesn't really strengthen the structure as much as you want. But for a small peanut like this it was perfect. It shrank uh, and it didn't warp them at all. Had no effect whatsoever and I put two co coats of dope on and it's uh, ready to go. Now the other change I made is that the original one had a really long nose block basically. The plane ended here and then all of this was nose block and I really didn't want to do that. So what I did is I lengthened it a little bit, filled this in with sheeting, this way the nose block is smaller and you'll see it here. This is where the original fuselage ended but I extended it and uh, this way you have a much smaller nose block as well. I used the 20 square stringers on the, stop, on the top and uh, also they have showed a sheet paper for the cowling but I've always had problems with that. It always gets wavy when you dope it so I just use some balsa. The other thing I changed is it showed wooden mounts here for the wing but you know the first time you hit a tree those are going to get knocked off so I put in .025 uh, wire instead. I'm not sure it shows up here and I secured them with a little extra wood on the inside so these aren't going any place. Uh, I put in the tail skid and I think that's pretty much it. So I'll finish the fuselage, get the rest of this covered, and uh, we'll get out to the field and do some flying. Alright, here's the Speedy. It's all done, ready to go. So I put in a 16th inch round hardwood here on the wing. And uh, the thing I did different this time is normally to hold it down to the wire I would put a thread, but last time that was very abrasive and it kind of wore the tissue. So this time I put some uh, poly span, which is kind of like a silk, and I wrapped it and I kept it very smooth so that it doesn't wear on the wing. I also carved a prop because they, you know the card bolster props are really the best. You can see here's another one I'm working on. So first you saw it out roughly and then here I have it roughly carved and then you can kind of sand it down. I think it came out fairly nice. Then I put about uh, four coats of dope on it to seal it. I also have a very simple freewheel here uh, which is uh, just a bent wire. It's shown on the plan actually and what it does is it engages uh, under power and then for the free will part it can just release and uh, spin around. I also put what's called a reverse S hook in the back. It kind of looks like this. kind of looks like a reverse S. That's why they call, call it that. If you do a search on online there's some nice videos on how to make this. And this is very important because it keeps the rubber nice and centered. It doesn't climb on the hook and that's very important with these small rubber jobs. Um, for power I'm going to use four strands of an eighth inch, about one and a half times the length from the rear peg. That's pretty much a standard in the rubber power modeling. And I'm pretty sure this is going to fly fairly well so we'll get out to the field and we'll do some flights.